Bungie made this exotic actually insane, and no one is talking about it. So in this video, I'll go over what makes it so good, and how you can further improve it to make one of the best builds in the game. I'm Marshix, and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. Be sure to click like if you like clicking. This exotic is of course, the Traveler's Chosen. It has the perk Gathering Light. Final blows of this weapon will give you stacks of Gathering Light, which can be consumed to give you Grenade, Melee, and Class Ability energy. You get 10% of your energy back for each stack, so 10 stacks will give you the full charge. Quickly get your Invis Dodge, Debuff Grenades, Overshield Barricades, Devour, this does it all. You also get increased Reload Speed, Handling, and Target Acquisition for each stack of Gathering Light. This was already a good exotic for ability focused builds, but this season, Bungie gave all exotic primaries a 40% damage buff, so it hits much harder than it used to. It's amazing for clearing red bars and even majors. And as you build up stacks of Gathering Light, it becomes very snappy and has very little downtime from reloading. It also has a catalyst which adds full auto and osmosis to change its element after throwing a grenade. This is where things start to get crazy. Since this can turn into a void weapon by using a void subclass, it can benefit from volatile rounds. This will effectively give you around a 20% damage buff. It will also cause enemies to explode and trigger certain abilities like Stylish Executioner and Controlled Demolition. Now, there's two ways to get volatile rounds on your weapons. The first way is with Echo of Instability. This will give you volatile rounds for 9 seconds after getting a grenade kill. Traveler's Chosen gives you grenade energy, so you'll be able to use this pretty much whenever you want. The other way is by using Volatile Flow in the Seasonal Artifact. This will give you volatile rounds for 17 seconds by picking up Void Elemental Wells. Important thing to note here is that if you get a grenade kill, then pick up an Elemental Well, the timer will reset to 9 seconds. But if you do the opposite way by picking up a well first and then getting a grenade kill, it will reset to 17 seconds. So it's better to start with an elemental well than use grenades to refresh the buff. To build upon the echo of instability, I'm using Verity's Brow. Getting kills with a weapon with an element matching your subclass will give you stacks of death throws. This will give you increased grenade damage and give grenade energy. So this will help you get grenades to refresh your volatile round timer and grenades dealing more damage will help secure the kill with your grenades. For the elemental well side of the build, I obviously have volatile flow to give volatile rounds with void wells. I'm spawning those wells with melee well maker since Traveler's Chosen will give ability energy whenever we need it, and grenades already give volatile rounds. Reaping well maker is also a good replacement for this in content where you can't reliably get melee kills. After using your rift, your next kill will spawn a void well. Fonda might also utilize as void elemental wells. This will give you a 25% stacking damage buff to your void weapons after picking up a void well. We can also double down by using Elemental Time Dilation and a second Font of Might to increase the timer of this buff from 13 seconds to 16 seconds, which might not seem like much, but it's really nice to have. Font of Might will buff all Void Weapons, so you can run two other Void Weapons to take advantage of it. I also played around with Explosive Wellmaker because Volatile Explosions will actually create Solar Elemental Wells, but I didn't really find a good use for the Solar Wells. Well of Ordnance can give Grenade Energy from them, but Traveler's Chosen and Devour both do that too, so I felt like it was a little redundant. To take full advantage of Font of Might, I have Likely Suspect and Red Herring. Likely Suspect is a craftable Void Fusion Rifle that gets Golden Tricorn. This works great in the build because you can get a kill to get the first stack of Golden Tricorn, then throw a grenade to get the second stack and Volatile Rounds at the same time. Red Herring also has a similar playstyle, being that you can craft one with Adrenaline Junkie. One grenade will give you full stacks of Adrenaline Junkie and Volatile Rounds, and you can stack it with Font of Might if you're able to pick up an elemental well before going into a fight. It also gets Ambitious Assassin, so you can get two rockets in the magazine, activate Adrenaline Junkie, then get the buff on both of the rockets. For the aspects and fragments, you definitely want Feed the Void to give Devour off of ability kills. Devour will completely heal you, give you grenade energy, and extend its timer after every kill. This is hilariously overpowered and I love it. You always have grenades, and you can play very aggressive since you're constantly healing with every kill. Chaos Accelerant is also great, being that you can overcharge your grenade to get extra damage, which stacks with the grenade buff from Verity's Brow. Using these two aspects, you'll be able to use three fragments, so go with Echo of Instability for Volatile Rounds, Echo of Persistence to increase the duration of Devour, and Echo of Undermining to make your grenades debuff enemies, which in turn makes your grenades even stronger, and your Volatile Weapons will do even more. From there, hit the like button, then just throw on stat mods to get high recovery and discipline, harmonic siphon to make orbs of power with your void weapons, and whatever ammo and resist mods you can fit. This build is a ton of fun for most activities, and can even be good in high-end activities if you use a grenade mod to stun champions, or maybe swap out the fusion rifle with something that can deal with champions. 
Let me know what you think of the build and what you think of Traveler's Chosen down in the comments. Now with this build, you're going to want some high stats. So check out this video to learn how I got four maxed out stats on one armor set. Thanks for watching. I'm Marshix and I'll see you next time.